Hi everyone, welcome back to another Adobe XD video. Today we will check out the best new Adobe XD plugins of December 2019. So without further ado, let's just get started. Before we get started, type down in the comments which is your favorite Adobe XD plugin. So the first Adobe XD plugin is Quick Mockup and Quick Mockup is a free tool which allows you to quickly add uh, different components into your mockup or wireframe. Uh, for example, if I want a floating action icon, I can quickly click on this plus and it will add this icon on the top left here and I can change the style uh, to whatever they have saved already so I can choose between uh, secondary ghost or default and uh, I'll just leave it at default right now I can change the state so I can change the state from default to active to hover to disabled and it slightly changes the uh, color and shadow and everything like that so for error it will give you this red icon and it also allows you to change between uh, different icon styles so you can either choose the plus icon or the cross icon or the arrow top or the arrow left icon even things like play pause menu are all here and this is a very creative tool it has a large option of components from drop downs to sliders and I but personally I love the sliders a lot they're simple and really easy to use and of course they have all these different states as well and you can quickly reset to default if you want the default element the next Adobe XD plugin is called content sync and content sync basically allows you to sync all your data from your Adobe XD document onto a spreadsheet or an Excel sheet so I'll just sign in with Google for now and it allows you to quickly sign in. Once you are connected, you will get a list of all the spreadsheets you saved. If you haven't, then you can quickly create a new project and this allows you to uh, select which account you want. I'll select this primary account. I can, I can select a project name. I'll just say Lorem Ipsum for this project and I can choose which account I want for my spreadsheet as well. And once it's done, I can create it. And you can view the project here in contentsync.com's official website once you've logged in. This is a great tool to allow you to sync your data across uh, different documents in Adobe XD and to save a list of data from your Adobe XD. Now this next plugin is for all the people who've been saying we cannot export JavaScript in Adobe XD. Well, there is a possible solution. Component to view. Now, as you know, view.js is a progressive JavaScript framework which you can use with your JavaScript projects. Adobe XD now has the ability to export as a view element. And as you can see, I can export this circle as a view component and all I need to do is either say copy component or I can say save to file it saves it as a dot view file which you can then later install with the view JS enough of the geeky stuff now comes the more interesting stuff if I have a text layer selected in XD I can just say change case from this plugin here and I can change it into uppercase lowercase or title case from here and I can even change it to a sentence case if that makes sense what this allows you to do is rather than selecting these little uh, items here I can change the text with just a keyboard shortcut which is in this case is option shift command U so option shift command U and that, that it's as simple as that seems like this uh, shortcut is a little long but it i think it gets the job done faster than these little options here in xd now this next plugin i've already featured in one of my older videos but i'm very happy about it it's called vectorize and vectorize allows you to convert any image jpeg png or any other image into a vector or svg which allows you to then edit it further so for example for this little android here i can just say detailed 
and I'll just say convert. And once it is done, I can edit each element as, a, as and how I wish. And of course, I can change the size to whatever size I want without losing on the quality of the image. How cool is that? Now, this next plugin is sort of useless, but it's still quite interesting. It's called Rotate Copy. What it does is rotates a particular element in a couple of angles at once so that you can see different degrees of rotation uh, without rotating it again and again. So if I select this circle and say rotate copy, I can choose any angle between 1 and 360. I'll choose 20 and I'll say apply. And as you can see, this has already applied to minus 20 to 360 and it, it's done it to different circles. So it keeps on decreasing 20 degrees. So if you want to see maybe an image rotated uh, 20 degrees and keep on rotating it 20 degrees, I think this is useless, but still a very interesting plugin. What this allows you to do is export uh, any artboard or any element in your XD document and upload it to zero height. I'll explain what zero height is in just one second. So I'll just say beneath uh, my name here and I'll say upload. It says preparing upload and it does the needful for us. You can see it uploading in real time here. And once we go to zero height, we can check out this project as a, as a library essentially on your browser. And I can see all the artboards which I've uploaded. I can see the colors that I might have saved, the character styles, components, everything that I've included in my XD document will show up here so it it acts as if it acts as a little style guide which you can upload here and it does all the work for you so you can even uh, set different colors and stuff and all that related stuff here in zero height and it, it acts not only as a backup but also as a style guide for whoever wants to do it and i can save any uh, save it as any name. I can add typography later on and whatever I've done in my Adobe XD document will get uploaded and shared with all your teammates or all your clients in one go. So they, they'll have the file, they'll have the style guides, they'll have the fonts being used, they'll have everything in that one little file on zero height. By the way, you don't have to worry. I'll give the links of all the plugins in the description so you can check the plugins out yourself. Now, I hope you liked today's video. I have a ton of these Adobe XD plugin videos that I do every single month. You can check it out. I also do other videos every Monday and Thursday. So do make sure to subscribe to the channel and also like this video if you did. And I'll see you in the next video. God bless.